Hello everyone and welcome to this new edition of the Meet the Expert vlog. My name is John van Brussel and I'm the product manager for the AirPods conveying portfolio at Van der Lande. Today we're going to dive into the world of individual carrier systems or ICS for short. ICS has transformed the way baggage is handled within airports and has been adopted by them worldwide, including the largest hubs. Let's head over to our innovation center and have a closer look to what our ICS is all about. Instead of placing the baggage on a conveyor belt, like on a conventional conveying system, in an ICS, the baggage gets transported by its own individual carrier. This approach improves the conveyability of the bags, which reduces the amount of damaged and mishandled bags, and also minimizes jams. The bag remains safely enclosed in its own carrier throughout the entire system, also during screening and storing. Talking about screening, it's worth mentioning that our ICS is approved for in-carrier screening by both the ECAC and the TSA. Our carriers are colored yellow for enhanced visibility. To accommodate for different sizes of baggage, we offer three different sizes of carriers. We have medium, large and out of gauge. There's also an option to do mixed flow, combining different sizes of carriers within the system, like shown here. When not in use, the empty carriers are either stacked and stored in line or stored in the adapter bag store, which optimizes space in the system. Let's move on to our first question. This one came from the US. For that I will call my colleague Art, who is an expert in ICS for the United States. Art has a lot of experience helping airports in the United States with finding the right baggage handling solution. Hey Art, how's it going? Hi Jarwin, it's going great. Great to hear from you. How can I help you today? So I received the uh, question, uh, why do airports choose ICS over conventional conveying? Well, that's a great question. And I think there are three main reasons for that. First, airports seek certainty that the bags will reach their intended destination. With ICS, the system offers improved conveyability and much higher levels of reliability. Moreover, ICS provides 100% track and trace using RFID technology integrated in the carriers. U.S. airports really appreciate the ability to easily locate and inspect specific bags at any given moment. Secondly, ICS enables high-speed connections between terminals, which is particularly interesting for airports with a significant amount of international traffic and transfers. It allows for a seamless interconnection of terminals from domestic to international or international to domestic. Lastly, the advanced high-density storage, like our Adapto bag store, enabled by ICS, proves to be a great advantage for airports with high volumes of international traffic. Passengers can check in their baggage early and comfortably wait for their flight without the burden of being tied to a bag. Additionally, airports can optimize their handler allocation by controlling which bags are retrieved from the bag store and sent to the makeup area. This leads to a much more efficient use of resources and reduced idle time. In fact, we've successfully implemented batching for one of our customers in the U.S., maximizing the efficiency and throughput of their system. Thank you, Art. That's a great story indeed. And by the way, if you want to know more about storage and batching, please make sure to check out the Meet the Expert vlog from my colleague Franz on storage. So Art, I have a second question for you. If an airport is considering an ICS solution, what are some key factors they have to take into account? Sure. Uh, an essential requirement for airports looking to implement an ICS is to really ensure that the infrastructure and building spaces are suitable. Compared to conventional systems, ICS offers a higher line capacity, but also needs allocated space for transporting back empty carriers. To address the unique spatial considerations, it's essential to involve experts from the beginning. We, of course, are happy to help and offer advice from the early stages, ensuring a perfect fit and successful implementation of the ICS. Furthermore, airports should really consider the significant advantage of reduced energy consumption offered by ICS. 
With the ability to switch conveyors on and off based on real-time demand, energy usage can be optimized, leading to cost savings and environmental benefits. Thank you, Art. Thank you for the insights. And uh, indeed, ICS is a state-of-the-art solution, and it's really interesting to see what uh, the developments are over the years. Thank you, Art. Thank you, Jarwin. Take care. To dive deeper into this topic, let's go to my colleague Peter. Peter is an expert on system design, and he knows a lot about ICS. How's it going? Hey, Jarin. Nice to see you. Good. How are you? Doing good. I'm curious. Uh, ICS has evolved over the years. Um, what are key innovations and improvements? Yes, well, with 20 years of experience and continuous developments, uh, the ICS product has improved on a more compact layout, higher speeds, and smarter controls. And that all contributes to the performance increase. Can you give an, uh, a specific example? Yes, we have focused on uh, modularity. So by reducing the number of variants, components, we managed to get 35% less components, which contributes to a 40% faster installation time. Also for maintenance, uh, modularity helps, um, like exchanging the belts within three minutes, which is interesting, of course. Yes, very interesting. Another example is the implementation of real-time data. So in combination with our advanced baggage controls uh, vibes, we can implement uh, dynamic uh, baggage routing based upon real-time data. So that means that time-critical baggage can be routed differently, delays can be avoided, and we can group baggage for the batch building process in a, in a smarter way. Okay. Yeah, data is really a key word uh, becoming more and more relevant and that's also the same for efficiency, sustainability um, and how can we make sure that airports will be more and more ready for these uh, trends? So with uh, smart sensors and real-time routing, uh, ICS supports basically a data-driven and proactive usage of the baggage system. And that enables, let's say, the airport to become more proactive, data-driven to support the operation. So what does that mean in terms of sustainability? We have improved uh, significantly over the last uh, years to contribute to the circular economy in the end. So we carefully select materials for recyclability. Uh, for instance, the carrier is now 100% recyclable material. And also on energy usage, we managed to reduce the energy consumption with about 30% by applying highly efficient drives. And furthermore, we prioritize the workplace conditions as we want to ensure the well-being of the maintenance engineers, the handlers and operators that use our systems. Yeah, indeed, that is a very important topic. Thank you, Peter. Yeah, you're welcome. Art and Peter have given us valuable insights. Overall, our ICS contributes to an efficient, reliable and future-proof baggage handling. It is the cornerstone of our integrated end-to-end -end approach and it enables our high-density storage solution, Adapter Bag Store. Concluding, ICS allows for a predictable and controllable bag flow. It facilitates automated batch building and it optimizes manual labor space and resources. As you can see, we are very proud of our ICS. I hope you found this vlog informative. If you have any questions, let us know and we'll be happy to assist you further. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share and I'll see you next time.